News, and uh, we are so happy to be bringing to you the superstars of World Championship Wrestling. You're talking about a young man who has taken the wrestling fans, and as the old cliche goes, the wrestling world by storm. Here he is, Chris Jericho, Lionheart. Seems to be very popular with the ladies. I think he's pretty popular with every wrestling fan. You know why? Do you realize he's standing there with NWO fans? I think they like him. I, you know, I don't. You, I don't think you can say that NWO fans are anything like Hall and Nash and Hogan. Now, see, I don't mind Hall and Nash. What? I don't mind DiBiase. What? I don't mind Vincent. I just don't like Hogan. You like DiBiase? Well, the dealings I've had with him over the years, he's never. Uh, he's always up front with me. I always heard he wanted your job. No. He wanted to, to, to be the color man of uh, all pro wrestling and boot you out. That's what I heard. I mean, I'm not trying to call Scotty anything. Well, he wouldn't do that to me. Or I, I, I'll have to tell what I know about uh, uh -huh. his brother-in-law. Of course, Scott Armstrong and Chris Jericho in this bout here on Worldwide Brain. Well, you heard what now? He... No, I'll tell you what he... Chris Jericho sending... Scott Armstrong down and whips him in. And fans, this Sunday, of course, is Super Brawl. The event is available exclusively on pay-per-view. You still have an opportunity to call your local cable operator and join us. The event will originate from the Cow Palace in San Francisco. The event, of course, pay-per-view telecast all across the world. Hogan and Piper for the WCW World Heavyweight title this Sunday. Call now to join us for Super Brawl 7. Jericho once again in command here. And the people are going wild for this guy, Shivani. I said that earlier, they are. I think it's because they can identify with his energy, with his attitude that he has. I mean, the young man comes in, he gives 100%. He's always in a great mood. He's, he's up, he's with it. Everything snaps, every move is crisp. And he's a great guy. Why not? What's wrong with that? Oh, that? Nothing's wrong with that. I thought you were... That, that's me to a T, what yeah. you just said. And what's wrong with being up and pumped up and instead of being lethargic and upset about every day and, you know... Well, that's what Hogan's going to be. He's going to be upset. After this Sunday, he very well could be. You know, Brain, you're so confident, you said at the top of the program... Oh! Uh, ...about what Piper... And there's no question, there's a two count. There's no question that this Sunday, Piper can win the match. But will he? It's a little bit different now when the world title's at stake. Piper, last time we saw him, well, last time in 1996 we saw him, he almost ended the career, did Hogan. He, was, he being Piper, was carted out by EMTs that night in Knoxville, Tennessee. I look at it, 51-49 Piper. I'll tell you why. Piper has to beat Hogan. Hogan don't have to beat Piper. Hogan's got the advantage there. But see, Hogan's never been beaten before. And he knows, the world knows, that the icon, Rowdy Roddy Piper, beat the man. Out wrestled him, put him to sleep in Knoxville. Put him to sleep, I don't know how long, beat the man, beat Hulk Hogan. Hogan knows it's in the back of his mind. He don't want that to happen again. But he's aware of Piper's ability to beat him. And Hogan will make a mistake. I predict Hogan will make a mistake and Piper will capitalize on it and become heavyweight champion of the world. He's got that one point edge. This is the one you don't want to miss, fans. This is the big one. We thought Starcade was big, huh? 1997 Super Brawl 7. Inside Cradle 2 count. The biggest one yet. The biggest world title match of them all. It's aptly named Piper Hogan 2. I mean, you know, you can say a lot about a man wearing a mini skirt and a pleats and a skirt and everything, everything's always said about Piper. But when you get in that ring and you demean the man in front of his child like Hogan did, and then slap Piper around the back of his head in front of his child the way Hogan did, this is what made it personal for Rowdy Roddy Piper. That's the reason he's got the edge. Back in front of his child, live, to think about his other five children and his family watching at home in Portland, Oregon on TV that night. We showed the fans a week ago on Worldwide what happened. Jericho covers Scott Armstrong and gets it. 
Two count out of that one. Yeah, Piper definitely has the edge. I think this is the first time ever Hogan's going into a match as the heavyweight champion of the world, in my opinion, as the underdog. That is a point well taken. Jericho is up. Jericho could execute and does the missile drop kick. One, two, see ya. Lionheart Chris Jericho again. The young man is red hot. And oh yeah, Armstrong gave him a go. The ladies love him, you're right. And Armstrong did give him a go. Jericho continues week in and week out the win. And she the, just likes him because he's got nicer hair than her. Well, I'm not going to say that, but he, they both have nice foot. Get to the match here. Here's Jericho. Gets him right in the side of the chop there. Look at the acceleration in this man. Off that top rope. The velocity on the mark, on the bullseye center. Right with that drop kick. He knew where he was going. Wastes no time. He goes in to get the one, two, three. I'm Mr. Armstrong, who is going nowhere. He's lunch meat. There's your winner. Energy Plus, Lionheart, Chris Jericho. Silicon Psychosis, Ladies Tag Team, plus Rey Mysterio Jr. All on Worldwide Wrestling.